Montana, big sky country, the treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. Lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. And everything became perfect. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious, militant, I mean, it was a goddamn cult. The collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state, built right here, under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Fans, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. And some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Ow. Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the Father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. But I will make them see. Over. Roger, Sheriff. Did Planet go through with this? Over. 
We are. Unfortunately, still trying to talk some sense in our friend, the Marshal. Over. <laughs> All right. Lucky I'm not there. Get into any trouble, you just let me know. Over. 10-4, over and on. Maybe we should have brought Nancy along with us instead of the Proby. These Peggy's wouldn't fuck with her. Pratt. Why do you keep calling them Peggy's? Project at Eden's Gate. P.E.G. Peggy's is what the locals call them. You know, they started off harmless enough a few years back, but now they are armed to the T. Yeah, you know, they're looking for a fight. Are you scared, Sheriff? We're here. Compound's just below. This is a bad idea. Last chance, Marshal. <sighs> We're going in. Set it down. Right, roger that. Dispatch, you still there? You don't hear from us in 15 minutes. Send in everyone. Call the goddamn National Guard if you have to. Over. Yes, sir, Sheriff. I'll be praying for you. Now listen up. Three rules. Stick close. Keep your guns in your holsters. And let me do the topic. Got it? Got it. Rookie! All right, everyone. Stay sharp. Let's go! Be in the church. Stick close. Eyes open. These folks can spook easily. Rook, on me. Stay loose, huh? What are they doing here? Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Sheriff, I don't like this. Everything's fine, Hudson. Everything's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much out here. They'll respect a 9mm. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marsha. How are you doing that? What are you doing? We don't want any of your details. We do it my way. Quietly. Calmly. You got it? Fine. Hudson on the door. Watch our backs. Don't let any of these people get in. Rookie? On me. And you? Just try not to do anything stupid. Relax, Sheriff. You're about to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us. Take our guns. Take our freedom. Take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. Come on we will not let their greed or their immorality or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff, you're not there will be no more sex. suffering. Oh, fuck. It. Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are, the locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built. Oh, do not touch that service weapon. Hold on and don't stand down. Stand down. Everyone calm down. We knew this moment would come. And we've prepared for it. Go. 
Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see. Step forward. And I saw. And behold, it was a white horse. And hell followed with him. Rookie, cuff this son of a bitch. God will not let you take me. Rook, put the cuffs on him. Sometimes the best thing to do is to walk away. Let's go. Take point, we're going right. On it. Stay on the path, rookie. Dispatch. Oh my god. Everything is just fine here. No need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. No one is coming to save you. God has kept you under the shadow of his wings. Everything is unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. The collapse has begun. And we will take what we need. 
and we will preserve what we have. And we will kill all those who stand in our way. And these, the harbingers of doom, will see the truth. We gotta get out of here. Begin the revenge! We gotta get out of here. Jesus Christ. Rook, I'm sorry. I thought they got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these... Okay, shh.
Watch it! Take him out! Okay? Nice work back there. I'd be dead if it weren't for you. We gotta get back, but we gotta be smart. We don't know who we can trust. Oh no. Oh no. They got the roads blocked. for you. We gotta get back, but we gotta be smart. We don't know who we can trust. Fucking Nancy. Oh no. Oh no. They got the roads blocked.
My children, we must give thanks to God. The day I have prophesied to you has arrived. Everything I told you has come true. The authorities who tried to take me from you are now in the loving embrace of my family. Save for one. You know what that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it, for years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation. Check, check. Are you ready to work? I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. The problem is, there ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're going to do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Careful out there. It's crawling. Those fuckers are willing to die for that psycho man this week.
radar cameras set up all over this island. I'll keep an eye out for anything useful. For now, head south and take out any culture you see. <laughs> and help any folks in need, would you? Dutch out. Please, you gotta help. Thanks for saving my sorry ass. <laughs> These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squirreled away. You may want to build some dynamite. Luckily, folks around here have been stockpiling all the materials you might need. So just grab them up. And get crafting. down by the docks. You help him out, and maybe he'd be willing to pick up a gun and return the favor.
I got faith in you, Dip. You have my contact. Hey, Deputy. Now that you're partnered off the day, you should head to the Forest Research Station. Ghost been crawling all over that place, using it as a depot for their goddamn bliss. Clear them all out. Send a message. We're not fucking around anymore. You're an angel. Good job clearing out the research station. Peggy's won't be back after the ass whooping you just laid on him. While you're there, check around and see if any folks are left alive. Something's there. It's going down! Shit, kid. I'm impressed. There's more fighting you than I... setting up this resistance. The next step is clearing up the radio signal. My CB's on the fritz. I can't get a hold of anyone off this island. The radio tower near the south shore must be busted. You think you can take care of that for me? We've tried to tell the Skylar girl to get out of here. But she says she won't leave without this admiral fish of hers. Maybe if you help her out, she'll wise up. I know what 
you thinking? And no. I ain't gonna have you climbing towers all over the county for me, so don't worry. Also, try not to fall from up there. Oh shit. Deputy, I'm picking up something new out of Holland Valley. It's a broadcast from John. You need to see this. We are all sinners. Every one of us. You, me. <laughs> Even the Father knows deeply of sin. It's a poison that clouds our minds. What if I told you you could be free from sin? What if I told you that everything you ever dreamed could come true? What if I told you that everything could be overcome if you embraced an idea? That freedom from sin can come from the power of just one word. Yes. I wish to be unburdened. Yes. I must be redeemed. If you're watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed. You will confess your sins. And you will be offered atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate. Yeah. <laughs> 